Hey, what up, Drew Crew? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're taking a bus. Now, I'm sure some of you are wondering, but Drew, it's just a bus. Well, taking buses here in Japan are kind of interesting because as you can see, as the bus pulls up, you actually get into the back door and there is either a little ticket that you can take or you can actually use your Suica and beep in. There is a board at the front of the bus that shows how much you're going to pay. The seats on the buses are actually really small and as a foreigner, a double seat will really only be a single seat for us. Now, personally, I don't like taking buses, but in the morning, if you can take a bus to your work location instead of a train, well, you get to relax a bit and enjoy the ride instead of standing up and being cramped in one of those sardine morning commute trains. Okay, so we're off the bus now. Uh, this is the bus that I just got off of here. Um, when you're at a station, and now he just opened up the back door for anybody to uh, get on the bus and go back the same way I just came. Uh, when you're at the station here though, uh, there are different number of platforms, just like any other bus station. It's gonna show you the route here. So here is Omiya Station, and basically I came all the way through here so they will have um, a map of all the bus stops they will have a timetable here showing all the times that the bus departs from here um, I'm at Omiya station and it looks like there's about one two three four about four or five different bays but the thing of it is is that each bay probably houses you know, three or four uh, buses. So you gotta be careful of which number you're taking and which location. That helps. funny as I pass by the construction one guy's digging and like six guys are standing around laughing at him <laughs> that's awesome so of course you can see the train tracks behind me Omiya station is over there I actually kind of walk through the red light district of Omiya every time I come to work like that's a love hotel there um, an amazing ramen shop Noroshi is right here on the corner they're not open yet usually they have a lot of lineups though and then as I come around the bend here, even though her bar is not open, you've seen in my videos before, Eyes Bar is right here. And then there's a lot of, uh, you know, snack places and stuff like that to, uh, you know, enjoy at night. And I haven't even come 10 seconds and another love hotel. So kind of a seedy area in a way in these back streets, but uh, hey, welcome to Japan. The next day. <laughs> hey, what up, dude crew? Just had a meeting over uh, across the street here in Shibuya on a project that I'm working on, and uh, I just stopped off at uh, Krispy Kreme Donuts for a coffee and a donut. 
So I just finished uh, my coffee at Krispy Kreme right in here. I was having my meeting right up over here. Uh, I'm going to continue on with my day. I thought this in statue here was kind of interesting. And it's kind of funny looking at, uh, in front of all, in the pachinko parlor here, they have all these foreigners taking picture, group photos. They look like they're maybe from Malaysia, Indonesia. And they're all taking group photos in front of a pachinko parlor. Hmm. around Shibuya a little bit, uh, show you a little bit of footage, but you guys have seen it a hundred times. And I'm actually heading over to Ueno uh, and do a little bit of stuff over there. So yeah, I'll be back.